Hey everybody, today we're gonna talk about in-flight essentials that I bring on a flight with me. Now, I'll go over this bag. The next flight I take is gonna be to Disney, so I have, you know, there's a theme here. This is just what I carry on me, so this is not my personal item. This is not my carry-on. I just wear this on me, and I can have everything I need at my fingertips. I don't have to be digging under the seat every time I need something. There are a couple of things that I'll carry in my backpack with me. If you want to see that video, uh, leave a comment below that you want to see what I bring in my in my personal item bag. Now, this doesn't count as a personal item. Um, I know a lot of people have been wearing these sling bags, fanny packs, that type of thing on the plane with their essentials in them. I always make sure that if I run into a persnickety gate agent that wants me to count this, I can, there's room in my backpack for it. So that's caveat number one, make sure there's room in um, your backpack for it. If you don't have room in your personal item for it, um, maybe don't make it bright red, maybe make it a color that blends a little so you can hide it, wear it on your back under a coat, that type of thing. So this used to be this. This is the clear planner pouch. Um, I'll put a link to this pattern below. And then this came off of my backpack. This worked great, except for it was really big. I was able to carry absolutely everything I needed in this, including a book, all of that stuff. It was just too big. And I used to put this in my backpack and then I would take it out and put it in the seat back and then have everything I need right in the seat back. And it worked great. It's just too big for what I need. So we got smaller. I'm going to take the strap off of this so it doesn't clink around the entire time I'm doing it. This pattern is the Mav Pack from Lynn's Handmade. I will put a link to the pattern below. If you're someone that sews, you can make this yourself. Otherwise, the other option, and I'll load everything in here later. This is the largest piece in a Jujube B set. I don't think that this pattern is available anymore, but they always have at least one Disney one if that's what you're looking for or some other really nice ones. I would highly recommend this. this. These are great, great bags. So let's get into what's in this bag. So we'll start, and I put double zippers on it so that it was easier to get to when I made it. So first things first. I'm gonna have antibacterial wipes. Now, even pre-pandemic, I would wipe everything in the plane down. Everything I'm gonna touch, because planes can be kind of gross. My kids even know how to do this. They all carry these, and they just right away know that when they sit down, everything gets wiped down. So I have those on top right away, ready to go. I should show you the back, where I keep my wallet, my travel wallet. Pro tip, you don't have to bring your whole big wallet that has your loyalty cards and, you know, gym membership and things like that with you. You can just bring a small wallet that has only the cards that you need. So I keep that back here. All right, then we got these. So then what else is on top? So those are my AirPods, okay? And then just in case something happens to those, I have two pair of wired headphones in here. One works for the airplane and then one works for my phone. I can also, if my kids lose theirs or something like that, I have that right with me. These little stasher bags are great, by the way. I will link everything below that I can. Lotion and hand sanitizer. These two, two pun intended, go hand in hand. If you're using this, your hands are gonna dry out and you're gonna want some lotion. Then I have this, and this is just a disposable plastic like grocery bag that I flag folded. And what I'll do is pull this out and open it right away when I get into my seat after everything's cleaned. And this is where all garbage will go while I'm in flight. That way I don't have to stash it somewhere. It just goes right in there. I kind of tie it to the side of the seat. When the flight attendant comes around to collect garbage, I just hand them this and it's ready to go. Next is one sort of emergency snack. I would have other snacks in my backpack, but this one I can get to right away if for some reason I'm immediately hungry. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's just a little phone stand and it's just cute and it sets up nicely. 
and it's relatively flat. I wish these folded flat, but they don't. But I like this because it's small. Then I have these Noon Hydration Tabs. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I just adore these. Okay, gum, just in case ears pop, that kind of thing, or I need a little freshen up. Then I have a brick and a charging cable uh, in case my phone dies. I have a battery pack, an external battery pack for my phone, but I keep it in my backpack. I don't need that battery pack. I'm not gonna waste that battery if I have a plug-in and most seats have a plug-in these days. Also, when you can use this instead of just this, it's a little bit safer as, as far as security for your phone. Then I have a pen with a cap on it so it doesn't wreck the inside, the cute little inside of my bag. And then this, I think you guys have seen before, this is just a little bit of emergency meds. I'll pull everything out of this and show you what's in it. Okay, here we go. This goes with me in my purse every day. This is kind of one of my everyday carry things that you'll see with me and it's got all kinds of little itty bitty solutions for what I might need. So, ibuprofen. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm a big proponent of this. What I do is I buy a bottle of over-the-counter meds and I will take it out of the bottle. I will take the label off the bottle and I will put it on one of these Ziplocs and so that I have dosage information, I have expiration date, and I know exactly what this is, but it's all a lot flatter. Um, I carry a big thing of ibuprofen because it's the thing that we go through the most. Extra wet ones. A teeny tiny little chapstick lip balm, a couple of band-aids. You'd think you can't get hurt on a plane or you can't have a need for a band-aid on the plane, but my son seems to pick a hangnail or scratch himself or something almost every time we fly. So I always carry a couple of these welly band-aids with me. New skin, and this is just in there, liquid skin. This is just in there because it's always in there. I don't anticipate having to use it on a plane, but it doesn't take up a lot, a lot of room. And if I need it, well, then I have it. A couple of cough drops and acid chews. I put them in this case because then they don't get crushed. A leave, again, flat packed. And then we have these single dose medicines. So, the other thing I like when I'm traveling is these small single dose medicines. You can get these from Dollar Tree. And I like these because it's not a whole lot. There's not a lot to carry, but it'll just get you what you need. It has dosage and expiration date right on it. Uh, Advil, cold and flu. So that's Tylenol, Advil, cold and flu. There's a Zyrtec. We have one kid that has allergies in my family. This is an anti-diarrheal, Midol, and Pepto. And that's what goes in here. The only thing that's not in here is uh, Excedrin migraine. And that's just because I'm out. I have to get more. Okay, back to this bag. So we're getting a little deeper in here. I have tissues. And then I have these. These things are great. So these are compressed towels. And basically all you do is you get them wet or maybe there's a spill and they puff up to their like a big, almost two sheets of a paper towel. And they work great for rapidly cleaning up spills if you need them. Um, usually if I'm with my son, I'll put these closer to the top. They also work great for, for you can get them wet and clean off a table, something like that. Okay, so that's it for the inside. There's an inside zipper pocket here where I keep things I might not need, but I just wanna make sure I have them on the hand. So the first is a fan. That looks like this. And I love this over a battery operated fan because one, it never runs out of batteries. And two, when I get hot and agitated, I tend to get fidgety. Fidgeting is your body's way of releasing anxiety, releasing energy that, that's pent up. Um, so I get fidgety when I'm hot. So this is a good way for me to cool myself off, but also sort of release some of that energy. And that just collapses down like this. 
and goes in that back pocket. Okay, then I have more wipes and things. What else is in there? Oh, I have a little travel thing of poopery, just as a courtesy to anyone else in case, you know, one of us has to poop on the plane. This is just kind of nice. You put a couple of squirts in this before you go and it's like magic. You can't smell poop at all. And it's just a really nice courtesy to anyone who uses that airplane lav after you. Then I have some toothpicks, little placards, lens wipes for phone or glasses. I don't have my glasses in this bag because I wear them. Then this is just a little makeup removing cloth in case I wanna take my makeup off because I feel gross or makeup runs or something like that. You can also use these if you need to freshen up for armpitties or whatever kind of needs cleaning. Then I have a couple more of these anti-back wipes just in case. And that is it. Those are all of my in-flight essentials. Let me put this into that B-set bag and I'll show you it all fits in there as well. Okay. So this is I love this is what sold me on these is these cute little zipper pulls. And that it has two, so you can get in there easily. They all come with a crossbody strap like that. And this is something I would advise anybody looking at buying any kind of bags whatsoever. Try and get one that has a wipeable but light colored inside. They you can see everything so much better that way. So let's start putting things in here and make sure it all fits. Okay, it all fits, but just barely. And in fact, I don't like the way it's pulling. So what I would probably do is take a couple of these things out, maybe put this in my bag, that kind of thing, just so it fit a little bit better. Uh, but this will also work. I'm gonna link down below a couple of other options that you could get off of Amazon that aren't, you know, Disney specific or that are closer to a sling bag. The other thing you can do if you're looking for this particular type and you don't sew, um, I do custom ones. If you wanna look on my Etsy shop, that's will be listed down below. But also you can go on Etsy anywhere and type in Mav Pack. I'll put that down below too. And there are all kinds of um, Etsy sellers that are making them. That's all I have for you today. This is what's in my bag. If you're interested in seeing what's in my personal item carry-on, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I hope you have great, safe, very prepared travels. Thanks for watching.